<sighs> Hi, how are you? Please forgive me, I look exhausted. I feel exhausted going into this heat to different events and also fundraising for Burkina Faso, a country that some people don't even seem to know is a country is also exhausting. I wanted to make this video. Um, I don't make many videos with my face in it, as you could see why. Um, Juneteenth was Wednesday, of course, the 19th of June. And I was at the African American Museum. I wanted to unpack a few things. Number one, it was very depressing very sad to find out so many black people in America I don't use the term African American it's not it's not to be disrespectful but I'm waiting for the next term that's going to come up because we were Negroes and we were colored and then African American which is a heritage because it's describes you know your DNA makeup and not many people identify by their heritage but whatever, even though people think that their nationality is their heritage, which, or ethnicity, whatever. I don't even want to get into all that. But anyway, it was very sad to see that so many black people have never heard of Burkina Faso. And I had the flag, I had a sign, and I thought that would have helped. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. When I had this flag and this sign, and I was walking around uh, the parking lot area where the main stage was and the second stage was for the events, I w was perplexed by several things. Number one, every time I walked with my flag of Burkina Faso, my sign, I was always surrounded by security. Security, there were men wearing all black and they had guns on their hips and they had earpieces in their ears. And I found, I found that very odd. Also, when I stood in position with the sign, and I'm not an idiot, I'm almost 50 years old. I had my back to the gate. The stages were on the right and the left. I wasn't blocking anyone's view and I held the sign up in the air with the flag, of course. And I gave out pencils, by the way. Apparently that's an act of terrorism. <laughs> I digress. So, I tried to contact the African American Museum on Thursday and Friday, which would be the ninth, the twentieth, and the twenty-first, and I haven't gotten anything, and I haven't gotten a real person. I sent out an email, but it was to a nonsense email. I don't know. No one's responded. But there were several things that happened besides the security, which were dressed in all black, and. Uh, there was a gentleman there with like military fatigue on and he was standing behind uh the fence and he was underneath of a tent he was kind of away and what was curious is there was an african group that performed they had instruments that look hmm, similar to those used in burkina faso but i don't know how many different african countries use those same instruments but while they performed, he decided to move and stand in front of the stage, which was odd. Why did these African gentlemen require security in front of the stage? I, d I don't get it. However, the photos are here. The screenshots up from the videos are here. And um, I'm, I want to ask anyone else that was there on 19th of June, of course, at the African American Museum. If security surrounded them and followed them, there were a lot of the, um, there were a lot of flags there, you know, the red, black, and green, and then the, uh, I guess this is a Juneteenth flag that looks like it's a variation of red, white, and blue. I, I'm not versed on that flag, um, but I found that very curious. I found two men in gray shirts that identified as the African American Museum and I told them one guy was kind of thrown back and I, I said listen I said listen there's one walking behind you and he turned around I also someone asked could they take my photograph with my sign and my flag of Burkina Faso and I asked him I said listen can you turn around and look behind you there were three 
of them ha- that had walked up. And I said, when you walked up to me and you asked, it, you, you know, were talking to me and asked, could you take a photo? I said, did you see these three men behind you with the, you know, the black on and the guns? And he said, no. And I said, look to, I said, don't look now. I said, look to your left, my right. There's another one walking up. So anyway, again, that was very perplexing. And I would like to ask the African-American Museum, was it disrespectful to have an African flag of Burkina Faso on their grounds? Was that, was that disrespectful? Also, let's go to Bob Casey. Bob Casey is running for re-election. Um, and he was there. And I found it odd that when every time I turned to him, he was surrounded by white people at a Juneteenth festival. But whatever. And he took a lot of photos with, you know, these white people, which is no problem. But it was just odd. I did speak to him for a moment. And I spoke to him about funding and grants and, and Burkina Faso. And I asked for a photograph. His, a young lady that was with him had crazy glue on my finger a young lady that was with him she introduced herself as her as his campaign manager she had my phone and she was going to take a picture after I spoke with him for about I don't know two minutes I I we have to go we have to go and he refused to take his photo with me I said well she has my phone can't you just take a photo it's like no uh we have to go we're busy uh, there was another woman in all red and she was the first host. I can't remember her name. I'm sorry, because I haven't listened to the radio in, in years. And she was from WDS and she was the original host and she stepped off halfway and passed it along to someone else. I saw her and she picked up her phone, put it to her face and pretended like she was in a phone call. I just asked for a photo. Um, and so that was just, that was just odd to me that the African American Museum was annoyed or whatever happened I don't know what was going on but they seemed to have security following me because I had a flag of an African country um I I just don't get that but I'm I don't know how to edit the videos on TikTok I'm not like a big video maker so I'm going to add these screenshots of what I'm talking about so that you can see what I'm talking about thank you